Adolfo Lewis Hitler, Sr. was an Austrian civil servant and the father of German dictator Adolf Hitler. Early life, a Louis Skicker Gruber was born in the hamlet of Strunz, parish of Dar Paragraph Lischim, in the Waldviertel, an area in northwest Lower Austria, to a 42-year-old unmarried peasant, Maria Skicker Gruber, whose family had lived in the area for generations. At his baptism in Dar Paragraph Lischim, the space for his father's name on the baptismal certificate was left blank and the priest wrote illegitimate. His mother cared for a Lewis in a house she shared with her elderly father, Johannes Skicker Gruber. Sometime later, Johann Georg Heidler moved in with the Skicker Grubers. He married Maria when a Lewis was five. By the age of ten, a Lewis had been sent to live with Heidler's brother, Johann Nepomuk Heidler, who owned a farm in the nearby village of Spittel. A Lewis attended elementary school and took lessons in shoemaking from a local cobbler. At the age of 13 he left the farm in Spittal and went to Vienna as an apprentice cobbler, working there for about five years. In response to a recruitment drive by the Austrian government offering employment in the civil service to people from rural areas, a Lewis joined the frontier guards of the Austrian finance ministry in 1855 at the age of 18. Early career a Louis Skicker Gruber made steady progress in the semi-military profession of customs official. The work involved frequent reassignments and he served in a variety of places across Austria. By 1860, after five years of service, he reached the rank of finance watch Oberaufseer. By 1864, after special training and examinations, he had advanced further and was serving in Linz, Austria. He later became an inspector of customs posted at Braunoimen in 1875. He eventually rose to full inspector of customs and could go no higher because he lacked the necessary school degrees. Change of surname, as a rising young junior customs official, he used his birth name of Skicker Gruber, but in mid-1876, 39 years old and well established in his career, he asked permission to use his stepfather's family name. He appeared before the parish priest in Dar Paragraph Lishim and asserted that his father was Johann Georg Heidler, who had married his mother and now wished to legitimize him. Three relatives appeared with him as witnesses, one of whom was Johann Nepomuk, Heidler's brother. The priest agreed to amend the birth certificate, the civil authorities automatically processed the church's decision and a Louis Skicker Gruber had a new name. The official change? Registered at the government office in Mistel back in 1877 transformed him into a Louis Hitler. It is not known who decided on the spelling of Hitler instead of Heidler. Johann Georg's brother was sometimes known by the surname H1 quarter TTLER. Smith states that a Louis Skicker Gruber openly admitted having been born out of wedlock before and after the name change. A Louis may have been influenced to change his name for the sake of legal expediency. Historian Werner Mazer claims that in 1876, Franz Skicker Gruber, the administrator of a Lewis mother's estate, transferred a large sum of money to him. Supposedly, Johann Georg Heidler, who died in 1857, relented on his deathbed and left an inheritance to his illegitimate stepson together with his name. Some Skicker Grubers remain in Wolvietal. Biological father, historians have discussed three candidates as a Lewis biological father. Johann Georg Heidler, his brother Johann Nepomuk Heidler, and Leopold Frankenberger. Most historians are satisfied that a Lewis father was Johann Georg Heidler, who during his own lifetime was the stepfather and posthumously legally declared birth father of a Lewis. According to historian Frank Magdanoff, the most plausible theory is that Johann Georg Heidler was the real father of a Lewis. An explanation for a Lewis being sent to live on his uncle's farm as a child is that Heidler and Maria were simply too poor to raise him, or could not raise him as well as his uncle, or perhaps Maria's health was in decline. Werner Mazer suggests that a Lewis father was Johann Nepomuk, Georg's brother and Hitler's step-uncle, who raised a Lewis through adolescence and later willed him a considerable portion of his life savings, but never admitted publicly to be his real father. According to Mazer, Nepomuk was a married farmer who had an affair and then arranged to have his single brother Heidler marry a Lewis mother Maria to provide a cover for Nepomuk's desire to assist and care for a Lewis without upsetting his wife. This assumes Heidler was willing to marry Maria in this situation, 
and Adolf Hitler biographer Joachim Fest thinks this is too contrived and unlikely to be true. A Louis' son Adolf Hitler, following the rumors that his paternal grandfather was a Jew, in 1931 ordered the SS to investigate the alleged rumors regarding his ancestry. They found no evidence of any Jewish ancestors. After the Nuremberg laws came into effect within the Third Reich, Hitler then ordered the genealogist Rudolf Koppensteiner to publish a large illustrated genealogical tree showing his ancestry. This was published in the book Diane and Tafel des Führers in 1937, which concluded that Hitler's family were all Austrian Germans with no Jewish ancestry and that Hitler had an unblemished Aryan pedigree. As a Lewis himself legitimized Johann Georg Heidler as his father and the priest changed this on his birth certificate in 1876 this was considered certified proof for Hitler's ancestry, thus Hitler was considered a pure Aryan. Although Johann Georg Heidler was considered the officially accepted paternal grandfather of Adolf Hitler by the Third Reich, the question of who his grandfather was has caused much speculation and has remained unknown. German historian Joachim Fest wrote that the indulgence normally accorded to a man's origins is out of place in the case of Adolf Hitler, who made documentary proof of Aryan ancestry a matter of life and death for millions of people but himself possessed no such document. He did not know who his grandfather was. Intensive research into his origins, accounts of which have been distorted by propagandist legends and which are in any case confused and murky, has failed so far to produce a clear picture. National Socialist versions skimmed over the facts and emphasized, for example, that the population of the so-called Wolvietal, from which Hitler came, had been tribally German since the migration of the peoples, or more generally, that Hitler had absorbed the powerful forces of this German granite landscape into his blood through his father. After the war Hitler's former lawyer, Hans Frank, claimed that Hitler told him in 1930 that one of his relatives was trying to blackmail him by threatening to reveal his alleged Jewish ancestry. Hitler asked Frank to find out the facts. Frank says he determined that at the time Maria Skicker Gruber gave birth to a Louis she was working as a household cook in the town of Graz, her employers were a Jewish family named Frankenberger, and that her child might have been conceived out of wedlock with the family's 19-year-old son, Leopold Frankenberger. However, all Jews had been expelled from the province of Styria in the 15th century and were not allowed to return until the 1860s when a Louis was around 30. Also, there is no evidence of a Frankenberger family living in Graz at that time. Scholars such as Ian Kershaw and Brigitte Hammond dismiss the Frankenberger hypothesis as baseless Frank's story contains several inaccuracies and contradictions, such as he said the fact that Adolf Hitler had no Jewish blood in his veins, seems, from what has been his whole manner, so blatant to me that it needs no further word. Also the statement Frank had said that Maria Skicker Gruber came from Leonding near Linz, when in fact she came from the hamlet of Strons, near the village of Dar Paragraph Lishim. Rosenbaum suggests that Frank, who though he had turned against Nazism after 1945 remained an anti-Semitic fanatic, made the claim that Hitler had Jewish ancestry as a way of proving that Hitler was a Jew and not an Aryan. DNA, in 2010 Jean-Paul Muldizis and historian Mark Vermeer and used samples from Adolf Hitler's distant relatives to try to trace the Hitler family's haplogroup. Their conclusion was that it belongs to the haplogroup E1b1b. This haplogroup originated in East Africa about 22,400 years ago. However, Hitler's closest living relatives were not tested. Marriages and children. Equals early married life equals. A Lewis was 36 when he married for the first time. Anna Glaselhar Paragraph Rare was a wealthy, 50-year-old daughter of a customs official. She was sick when a Lewis married her and was either an invalid or became one shortly afterwards. Not long after marrying his first wife, Anna, a Lewis Hitler began an affair with Franziska Fanny Matzelsberger, one of the young female servants employed at the Pommer Inn, house number 219, in the city of Braunoim Inn where he was renting the top floor as a lodging. Smith states that a Lewis had numerous affairs in the 1870s, resulting in his wife initiating legal action. On November 7, 1880 a Lewis and Anna separated by mutual agreement. The 19-year-old Matzelsberger became the 43-year-old Hitler's girlfriend. In 1876, 
Three years after Hitler married Anna, he had hired Clara Parr Paragraph LZL as a household servant. She was the 16-year-old granddaughter of Hitler's step-uncle Nepomuk. If Nepomuk was Hitler's father, Clara was Hitler's half-niece. If his father was Johann Georg, she was his first cousin once removed. Matzelsberger demanded that the servant girl Clara find another job, and Hitler sent Pa Paragraph LZL away. On January 13, 1882, Matzelsberger gave birth to Hitler's illegitimate son, also named a Louis, but since they were not married, the child's last name was Matzelsberger, making him a Louis Matzelsberger. Hitler kept Matzelsberger as his wife while his lawful wife grew sicker and died on April 6, 1883. The next month, on May 22 at a ceremony in Brunel with fellow custom officials as witnesses, Hitler, 45, married Matzelsberger, 21. He then legitimized his son as a Louis Hitler, Jr. A Louis second child, Angela, was born on July 28, 1883. Hitler was secure in his profession and no longer an ambitious climber. Historian Alan Bullock described a Lewis as hard, unsympathetic, and short-tempered. Matzelsberger, still only 23, acquired a lung disorder and became too ill to function. She was moved to Ransofen, a small village near Brunel. During the last months of Matzelsberger's life, Clara Parr Paragraph LZL returned to a Lewis home to look after the invalid and the two children. Matzelsberger died in Ransofen on August 10, 1884 at the age of 23. After the death of his second wife, Parr Paragraph LZL remained in his home as housekeeper. Equals marriage to Clara Parr Paragraph LZL and family life equals, Parr Paragraph LZL was soon to be pregnant by Hitler. Smith writes that if Hitler had been free to do as he wished, he would have married Pa Paragraph LZL immediately but because of the affidavit concerning his paternity, Hitler was now legally Pa Paragraph LZL's first cousin once removed too close to marry. He submitted an appeal to the church for a humanitarian waiver. Permission came, and on January 7, 1885 a wedding was held at Hitler's rented rooms on the top floor of the Pommel Inn. A meal was served for the few guests and witnesses. Hitler then went to work for the rest of the day. Even Clara found the wedding to be a short ceremony. Throughout the marriage, she continued to call him uncle. On May 17, 1885, five months after the wedding, the new Frau Clara Hitler gave birth to her first child, Gustav. A year later, on September 25, 1886, she gave birth to a daughter, Ida. Her son Otto followed Ida in 1887, but he died shortly after birth. Later that year, diphtheria struck the Hitler household, resulting in the deaths of both Gustav and Ida. Clara had been Hitler's wife for three years, and all her children were dead, but Hitler still had the children from his relationship with Matzelsberger, a Louis Jr., and Angela. On April 20, 1889, she gave birth to another son, future Nazi dictator Adolf. He was a sickly child, and his mother fretted over him. A Lewis was 51 when he was born. Hitler had little interest in child rearing and left it all to his wife. When not at work he was either in a tavern or busy with his hobby, keeping bees. In 1892, Hitler was transferred from Brunel to Passau. He was 55, Clara 32, a Lewis Jr. 10, Angela 9 and Adolf was 3 years old. Beginning on August 1, the family lived at Theresienz 23. One month after Hitler accepted a better paying position in Linz, on April 1, 1893, his wife and the children moved to a second floor room on Capuzinus 31. Clara had just given birth to Edmund, so it was decided she and the children would stay in Passau for the time being. On January 21, 1896, Paula, Adolf's younger sister, was born. She was the last child of a Louis Hitler and Clara Parr Paragraph LZL. Hitler was often home with his family. He had five children ranging in age from infancy to 14. Edmund died of measles on February 2, 1900. A Louis wanted his son Adolf to seek a career in the civil service. However, Adolf had become so alienated from his father that he was repulsed by whatever a Louis wanted. 
Adolf sneered at the thought of a lifetime spent enforcing petty rules. A Lewis tried to browbeat his son into obedience while Adolf did his best to be the opposite of whatever his father wanted. Robert G. L. Waite noted, even one of his closest friends admitted that a Lewis was awfully rough with his wife, Clara had hardly ever spoke a word to her at home. If Hitler was in a bad mood, he picked on the older children or Clara herself, in front of them. William Patrick Hitler says that he had heard from his father, a Lewis J.R., that a Lewis Hitler, Sr. used to beat his children. After Hitler and his oldest son a Lewis J.R. had a climactic and violent argument, a Lewis J.R. left home and the elder a. Lewis swore he would never give the boy a penny of inheritance beyond what the law required. According to reports, a. Lewis Hitler liked to lord it over his neighbors. Retirement In February 1895 Hitler purchased a house on a nine-acre plot in Hayfield near Lamch, approximately 30 miles southwest of Linz. The farm was called the Rauscher Gut. He moved his family to the farm and retired on June 25, 1895 at the age of 58 after 40 years in the customs service. He found farming difficult. He lost money, and the value of the property declined. Death On the morning of January 3, 1903, Hitler went to the Gasthaus Wissinger as usual to drink his morning glass of wine. He was offered the newspaper and promptly collapsed. He was taken to an adjoining room and a doctor was summoned, but a Lewis Hitler died at the inn, probably from a pleural hemorrhage. Adolf Hitler, who was 13 when his father died, says in Mein Kampf that he died of a stroke of apoplexy. Removal of Tombstone On March 28, 2012 the tombstone marking a Lewis Hitler's grave in Leonding was removed by a descendant according to Kurt Pittitskacher, the pastor of the parish. The descendant is said to be an elderly female relative of a Lewis Hitler's first wife, Anna, who has also given up any rights to the rented burial plot. The plot was covered in white gravel and a tree which has since been removed. The remains of Adolf Hitler's parents are still interred there. See also, Hitler family. References Additional sources, Bullock, Alan Hitler a Study in Tyranny 1953 ISBN 0-06-092020-3, Fest, Joachim C. Hitler. Verlag Ulstein, 1973 ISBN 0-15-141650-8, Hammond, Brigitte Hitler's Vienna, Torres Park Paperbacks 2010 ISBN 978-1-84885-277-8, Kershaw, Ian Hitler 1889 Euro 1936, Hubris W. W. Norton, 1999 ISBN 0 393 04671 0, Langer, Walter C. The Mind of Adolf Hitler. Basic Books Incorporated, New York, 1972 ISBN 0 465 04620 7 ASIN, B. 100 CRPF 1K, Payne. Robert The Life and Death of Adolf Hitler. Praeger Publishers 1973 LCCN 72-92891, Rosenbaum, Ron Explaining Hitler, The Search for the Origins of His Evil, New York, Random House 1998 ISBN 0-670-82158-6, Vermeeren, Mark de Jeugd van Adolf Hitler 1889 Euro 1907 Enzige Family en Voruders. So Esterberg, 2007, 420 BLZ. Whichever it is ISBN 978-90-5911-606-1, Wait, Robert G.L. The Psychopathic God, Adolf Hitler. Basic Books 1977 ISBN 0-465-06743-3